Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video and in this tutorial what I want to do is I want to start working on a full mobile responsive website. Now the reason I want to do this is because instead of just teaching you guys the basics like I had before and not really doing anything with the knowledge that we're learning, I think it'll be a little more fun if we start building a full website using the techniques that we learned. So that's what I'm going to be doing. However, before we jump right into it, I need to talk to you guys about something that I probably should have talked to you about before. So you finally decide that you want to make a website responsive. So maybe your boss came to you and told you about this website that you need to work on, or maybe it's just, um, I don't know, you're doing it for school or something, but you have a website, kind of like mine, that is not responsive at all. So of course, the reason that you want to make it responsive is so it looks great on mobile devices, small screen devices. Well now you have a couple options. The first thing that you can do is like we saw in the first tutorial in I think what was that website like Tatly or something. Whenever that screen started to shrink stuff started changing and it was adaptable. So that's the first type of responsive website we can make. However we also have another option. We also have the ability to make a pure mobile responsive website. Now what this means is whenever a user, a user is on a mobile device and they go to your website right here, what you can do is you can detect that they're on a mobile device and send them to another website. And you guys probably saw this before. Right now, the subdomain for this is www.buckysroom.org. If you ever saw a website with the M subdomain, what this would mean is it's a mobile site and it's a site that's not only responsive but it was made specifically for um, mobile devices. So when do you choose one and when do you choose the other? Well it, it really depends on exactly what you want to do. See my website right here if you look at it and if you ever um, you know have a client or something take a look at their website and start looking at the features on it. Right now I have this chat feature which uses a lot of bandwidth. I mean, it really isn't a uh, big of a problem because these desktop browsers are very powerful and you can't even tell the difference whenever you're doing it with that. And these notifications, they update in real time. So they're, they're pretty much always connecting to the network and you know um, updating. Right now, not an issue with this website because like I said, your desktop browsers are really powerful. However, with a mobile browser on a mobile phone you don't have the same advantages even though you may think that they're better than they were like 10 years ago they aren't nearly as powerful as a desktop browser so you need to consider even if you could make a really good mobile design for this chat it would it would be too um, taxing on your mobile browser so instead what I want to do is considering all the features that we have built in and considering the fact that I don't want them to load on a mobile browser or else it'll just be way too slow and laggy I decided that we should make a fully responsive mobile site so that's what I did right here I've been playing around a little bit with it and that's what we're gonna be learning in this tutorial so again the benefits of this is whenever we connect to this we don't even load the chat or the notifications of uh, at all this is a website specifically tailored to the mobile experience and it'll be fast because it doesn't have to load all those resources it's responsive so it's easy to touch tap with the fingers and of course look at this maybe you're looking at it on I don't know an iPad like this size maybe just a smartphone like this no matter what way you stretch it or grow it it's fully responsive as well so again, that's why you may choose to make um, a responsive website like they did in Tatly just by adding some media queries. But in this little tutorial series or project series, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make um, a true mobile responsive website. And that is why I chose to do that. And also, all the techniques that you're going to learn, you're going to be able to understand how to port them over to a responsive website like Tatly. But once you learn how to do this, then, um, well, every door is going to be open and um, you guys are going to be like true responsive web designers. 
So I'm going to shut up now. That's the little demo. This is what we're going to start making in the next tutorial. So that's what you have to look forward to. I'll see you guys then.